Whenever a classic shows up in Lemons, we see a lot of very constructive and thoughtful comments on the internet. Why you ruin classic? But here's a Texas team that proves racing a classic in Lemons might not always be a ruin, but a rescue. Team PB Blaston out there in Texas, like many Lemons rookie teams, had the goal of starting out with a simple car. Yes! Manual transmission, rear wheel drive, some kind of sports car maybe. Yes! So they got a Miata. Yes, well! No, they went on Facebook Marketplace and found a 71 MGB GT. The team captain always liked the look of the GT version, which is underrated styling-wise, gotta say, and figured it fit the bill of sports car, rear wheel drive, simple, manual, and would probably land the team in class C. All right, so this thing pops up on Facebook Marketplace. More specifically, it's abandoned in, for some reason, a semi-truck junkyard in Belton, Texas. Shockingly, it wasn't running. It was last registered in the year 2000. It was filled with mice and had grass growing up through it. So basically, it's the car that everyone on the internet says is a perfect candidate for a high quality restoration. That is restoration quality. Yeah, things in this condition have a better chance of being crushed than restored, so this team was clearly doing it a favor by turning it into a lemons car. Uh, the folks at the scrapyard dumped it on their trailer with a forklift and the build was underway. Although this car was titled as a 71, it turned out to be a complete mishmash of different years and the team spent a whole lot of time on the internet. The team specifically wanted to send a shout out to Byron at Sports Car Warehouse. That's the thing about racing an MG, you're on a first name basis with the parts dude. When you start with a non-running car for Lemons, there's a huge temptation to start swapping, modifying, hopping up things, but this team figured the straightest path to not coming in last, spoiler alert, they didn't, was to leave everything stock. So the car has the stock 1.8 liter pushrod 4, stock lever shocks, stock leaf springs, stock rear drum brakes. Yeah, the only upgrades are a single Weber downdraft carb and upgraded front brake rotors. The wheels are 14 by five and a half. And because of that size, the highest performance tires they could find were a set of 600 tread wear all seasons. Going into their first race at MSR Houston, they figured the car had maybe 60 horsepower and their fastest lap time reflected that with the fifth slowest time of the entire race. But not only did they not finish last, they finished 63rd out of 110 cars, beating all manner of Miatas, Porsches, V8 pony cars, BMWs, and Civics, all kinds of crap. As if losing to a stock MGB wasn't bad enough, the team was also decked out with a bunch of beaver stuff. Paint, props, beaver costumes. Why? For whatever reason, from the get-go, they called the MGB the MG Beaver, and the idea just stuck, and they rolled with it. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Incidentally, the team has been following Lemons on YouTube for years and finally got everything organized to actually make it happen. The team is a bunch of college buddies, their dads, assorted friends and families, and with 200 laps completed, everyone on the team got lots of seat time. So that's about as close as you can get to a perfect Lemons debut. Clearly, they aren't gonna change that formula for their next race. Yes, well! Yeah, they're putting a supercharger kit together for it. Why you ruin classic? Every second you don't subscribe or watch one of these videos, another Vega is sent to the crusher. Won't you help us save classic?